In this video, you're gonna learn how to find a product to sell on Amazon in the baby category. What's up guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna do some Amazon product research right here in Jungle Scout to look for potential products and brands that you could start in the baby category on Amazon. So I'm gonna jump right here over to Jungle Scout. Now I'm just gonna use the product database tool today for this video. So I'm gonna collect, I'm right here in the United States, I'm gonna click on baby. And over here on product tier, I'm gonna click standard size, seller type, I'll do FBA. And min price, um, I'll do $10 max price. Let's, let's open it up a little bit, we'll do $75. Minimum reviews, zero. Max reviews, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put 150. I'm opening things up a little bit. I just wanna see if I can get a little bit better, some more some more ideas, I guess, better ideas. So I'm gonna open up the range just a little bit and challenge myself. The only other thing I'm gonna put in right here is minimum sales. I'm gonna put 300 sales. That's gonna be 300 sales per month. Let's see, everything else I'm gonna leave the same. I'm gonna hit search. And let's see what we can find. Okay, I'm seeing... 200 of 2,592 search results. So we've got 2,500 essentially products right here that fit our criteria. So I think we should be able to come up with some pretty good solid ideas. Right off the bat, right here at the very top, I'm seeing the nursing cover. I'm actually gonna open that up because I know that's a really popular product. Right off the bat, I'm seeing that it's a product that I could easily differentiate based on design. Here we go, blanket with headbands, 13 reviews, 450 sales a month. I'm gonna open that as well. Um, mattress protector, interesting, open that up. Nursing pillow cover, ooh, I really like that one. I'm gonna open that one up. Okay, shopping cart cover. Wow, we are hitting the jackpot. Usually in some of these categories, I gotta get to like page three, four, five before I find some good ideas. Honestly, these are right off the bat, right on the top. You know what? Let's roll with some of these right now already because I think we can see some good potential. So the process that I would go through is I opened up a bunch of these different products that we found right there in Jungle Scout. So I'm gonna analyze them a little bit more. I'm looking at the reviews, 135 reviews right here. They're selling a two pack of car seat covers. It looks like it's a two pack of two designs that kind of fit pretty well together. I'm gonna pull up my Jungle Scout Chrome extension, get another look at the sales. Sometimes you'll notice a little bit of discrepancy in the sales data. I don't worry too much about that because let's be honest, any of these software tools, Jungle Scout, Helium, whatever you use, they're all using algorithms to calculate the number of sales per day, per month, revenue, all that kind of stuff. I've verified it against my own products selling on Amazon, and it's pretty darn accurate, but let's be honest, it could be within a couple units sold per day off, but I, I would say, honestly, that like th these numbers are pretty close to being pretty accurate. So if they're getting 16 sales a day, that's a pretty good representation. This product getting 16 sales per day with 135 reviews sounds really solid. That sounds like something I would expect from this type of product. They have a great listing. I think they've got really solid photos. I think you could do better than that personally with the photos and the branding for this product. And as what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think about the core keyword here for this product. I think it would be baby nursing cover, or it would be car seat cover. And you could search both of those. So I could start with this one. I'm actually just gonna open up a new tab here and search up at the top, stretchy car seat cover. So I wanna get a good idea of what else is out there. So this is what I wanna do. I wanna get a really solid idea of all the different brands and businesses out there selling this type of product. And what I'm looking at is I'm just scanning quickly here. I'm looking at the price that they're selling for, 1999, 1999. 
$12.99, $21.99, $16.39. So prices are all over the place, anywhere from $12 to $20. And then I'm also glancing here at the reviews. So I'm seeing $900, $500, $6,000, 2000 Just getting a good idea of, of the reviews out there. Here's Amazon's Choice. It's only $7.99. It's really low. $86, $51, 267 And these are, again, this is in the $7.99 799 these actually might be well i think they're different brands they're showing different car seats those might be different brands 1799 looking at these reviews how many reviews quality of reviews they all have really good reviews it's pretty hard to mess up this product though so i can understand why all the reviews are probably five star so now is what i'm going to do is i'm going to load the data for all of these product listings and yeah, a lot of these brands are really crushing it. I mean, these ones that are up here with 2,000 reviews, they're doing 60, 40 to $60,000 a month in revenue, which is really solid. They do have a lower price point, so I bet you their margins are a little bit lower. Um, I would guess probably they're in the 10 to 20% margin range for, for this product. But I'm going to load some more results. I'm only seeing 24 right here. I'm going to load some more. Usually I would load about 200 results to get a really good look at the data. We'll just click here a few times to see what we can get. Okay, so now if we look down here, we're seeing 72 results. I'm gonna sort by reviews, lowest to highest. And again, I'm looking right here at the reviews column, how many reviews they have relative to their daily sales. I'm kinda of just looking at this ratio. So you'll notice usually, as you go up in reviews, daily sales will also increase. But I'm looking for clues of companies that have a lower-ish number of reviews, less than 100, and they're getting close to 10 sales per day. That just means I know that they're a good product, they're a good brand, they're doing something right uh, in order to get those types of sales. So like, here's a good example right here. 72 reviews selling 13 units per day. They are only $7.99, but I could open up this product and look at it a little bit further. So they're selling a one pack for $7.99 and doing pretty well. But check out these designs. Nothing crazy, it's just a gray and white stripe. Um, I actually hate these photos. These are horrible photos. So that's a good sign. If a brand that has terrible marketing, these photos are, are awful in my opinion, Awful photos are really, I mean, it's a low price, so that's probably why they're getting sales. But they're, like I said, their margin is probably super tiny. Um, but that's a good sign. It's showing that even people are buying these uh, lower quality brands. I am more interested in selling a product in the $20 price range. Because here's the life hack here for you guys. If you were to go and find a manufacturer to make these car seat covers, they'd probably charge you a dollar each. Okay? So a dollar each for this one, a dollar each for this one. Now, if you're selling one of these, people are selling them for $7.99, right? Whereas if you sell two of them, you can sell them for $16.99, maybe even up to $20. Okay? Somewhere in that range. Now, when you package these products, think about it. When you work with your manufacturer to, to do packaging, you have to package this product. So let's pretend this is in its poly wrap bag or whatever it is. And you're also gonna have to pay for a label, maybe a logo printed on the bag, right? For the one pack. Let's pretend the packaging costs 50 cents. Well, guess what? If you sell a two pack, you still only have to do packaging one time. So it's still 50 cents. It's still one poly bag. Yeah, the poly bag is barely bigger because you have to fit two of them in there. But it's still only 50 cents. So there's certain aspects of the, the cost of the goods, the cost of the manufacturing, the cost of the packaging that is standard that you're going to have to pay for regardless. So adding one extra product, like adding this as a two-pack, isn't adding any extra cost to the packaging. You still have to do packaging whether it's a one pack or a two pack. So if you sell a two pack, you're saving money. Does that make sense? I know that's a little bit, might be a little confusing to wrap your head around at first, but 
Whether you sell one or two or three or four or five, you only have to do one set, one piece of packaging, one poly bag. One poly bag for one product, one poly bag for five products. If they're all bundled together and sold as, as one unit, right? Same thing with shipping. So you're going to pay for shipping, right, for all these products. If you can add one extra bundle, like selling a two-pack, the added cost to your shipping is minuscule. Like it's only going to be a matter of cents. So you're better off selling a two-pack or a three-pack or a four-pack to just boost your margins that much higher. So this is a, a really this is a really rough example of math, but over here on the left, we got seven ninety nine. This is one pack, two pack. I'm just gonna do nineteen ninety nine. So you can sell a two pack for nineteen ninety nine, one pack for seven ninety nine. Um, the cost of the product to make it itself is one dollar, right? It's one dollar each. Over here, it's two dollars. Cost of packaging is fifty cents. Cost of packaging over here is also fifty cents. Um, cost of shipping per unit is one dollar cost of shipping per unit is a dollar 25 and let's just say you know fba fees over here are three dollars fba fees over here are five dollars because it's calculated based on the selling price but if you were to do all this math and add all this up and i'm not going to pull out my calculator for time's sake but you can see roughly let's say eight dollars seven dollars um six dollars three dollars fifty cents you're looking at like two dollars and fifty cent margin right I probably screwed that up, but let's pretend it's somewhat accurate. Uh, over here, twenty dollars minus two dollars is eighteen. That's seventeen fifty. That is sixteen twenty-five. That is eleven twenty-five. This is profit. Profit. Okay, so you do all this work. All this work, same amount of work, except for okay, a little bit extra work because you got to come up with two designs versus one. All the same amount of work. You still got to package it. You still got to ship it. You still got to do quality control. You still got to prep it. Same amount of work. You make $2.50 per sale or $11.25 per sale. What would you rather make? You still got to get the package. You still got to get it from your manufacturer. You still got to order samples. You still got to create the product. You still got to ship the product off to Amazon's warehouse. Like you're doing all this work. You might as well make more money for the same amount of work. So the strategy that I like to use is if you can bundle it and the bundles are selling, meaning you come here and you look at the data and people are buying it, pull up the Jungle Scout data and it's selling, sweet, six sales per day for this design. Then bundle it because chances are, so like these people, I, I guarantee you this product is doing almost the exact same thing that our business is doing, same type of business model. Not every single one of these designs is gonna sell really well. It's just not, that's just the way it is. But here's the thing, when you create this type of business model with the variations, this one right here might sell one a day, two a day, three a day, seven a day, maybe this one sells 13 a day, two a day, one a day, one a day, two a day, five a day, like you get it, like every single one of these variations is selling a different number per day. Unfortunately, Jungle Scout doesn't do a great job of showing you this information, but I've found from my own data research and you know, with our products in Jungle Scout, this is usually kind of what you can expect. You can expect if one of these is selling pretty good, the rest of them are probably selling somewhere in between that same, same range. It's harder for these types of products that list all the variations under the same product listing I like to create different product listings simply because I want to flood Amazon with my product listing. So when someone searches baby car seat covers, I show up like a bajillion times because I have 30 different product listings for all my different designs. The one good thing about doing it this way, I guess, is you get to kind of compile all your reviews into one listing. So, you know, there's some give and take there on the strategy. But what we've been guided on doing is, is the way that we do it. But this is how you really start a really solid business. You start a brand, you do car seat covers, you launch a bunch of different variations. Some of them sell well, some of them sell, don't sell as well. But pretty soon you're selling, let's just pretend you're selling 40 units a day total. 40 units a day at 16, 16.99. I am going to do the math on this one because I just want to see what it is. 
whoops, I apologize, I deleted that. 16.99 times 40 units per day is $679. So 40 per day, $679 per day, which is times 30. That is, I'm gonna do the math again, 679 times 30, boom. You've got, that was roughly $20,000 a month in revenue. And if you're looking at 40% profit, that is $8,000 a month. Do you make, leave me a comment below this video uh, if you make more than $8,000 a month at your current job. If your current job pays you more than $8,000 a month, leave us a comment below. Um, feel free to brag about it a little. I know that it's kind of taboo to talk about income, but my point is, look, guys, like this is it. Like you can literally create a business that pays yourself $8,000 a month just like this. 81 reviews. That's not that many. 81 reviews right here. Not that many. Very doable. You can easily get there within six months to a year. Easy. We spent a lot of time in this video on these car seat covers, but I, man, it's just such a good opportunity. True, it is pretty competitive, meaning there's a ton of products here on Amazon. Like, look how many different brands there are. But as long as you look at the data and a lot of brands are eating, meaning a lot of brands are making money, there's ton, There's so many different, people love choices for this, right? There's so many different personalities out there. Come in and be different. Offer something different. Like, check this one out. Very different. Like, this design is different than anything you'd ever see. To someone out there, this is the perfect car seat cover. Someone is looking for this exact design. That's why being able to differentiate on design is so amazing because it protects your brand. What if someone comes in and undercuts us? It doesn't matter. Like there's tons of other products, car seat covers out there selling for $7. It doesn't matter because you're differentiating on your designs. That's why they're selling this for $16.80 for one. Those competitors are selling them for $7 for one. They're double the price, but somehow, let me see the sales. Somehow they're getting sales. Granted, it's only showing four a day for this design, but that's okay. Because guess what? This is maybe only be four a day. This might be three. This might be two. This might be one. This might be five. This might be four. And maybe this company sucks with their Amazon pay-per-click. Maybe they don't know what they're doing with their pay-per-click strategy. Maybe they don't have a good Instagram account. Maybe they're not marketing outside of Amazon. There's a lot of things that they could have probably been doing to get their sales up even further. And they might be a new newer company. They only have 107 reviews. They're probably a newer-ish brand. So much opportunity, guys, out there. Gosh, we didn't even really get into uh, this pack of blanket plus headband. A great option for a bundle. Oh, hat plus headband, plus swaddle, sell it as a bundle. They got a whole bunch of different ones here. Only 15 reviews. I want to see how many sales these people have. 17 sales per day with 15 reviews. 17. And I hate this photo. That's a doll. That's not even a real baby. Is that a real baby? No way. That's got to be fake. You could, oh my gosh, this branding, I don't think it's that good. You could easily beat this branding. Here's a cover for a crib mattress. Holy smokes. 67 sales per day. 67 sales per day. $25,000 a month. 146 reviews. Definitely could come out and build a brand around that. What is this brand? Ruili? Like, this has got to be some, like, Chinese brand. Maybe it's not. But look at these photos. This looks like it's straight from Alibaba. Like, you could easily build a better brand than this so when people come to me guys and they say i can't find a product to sell there's like it's too saturated i've literally been on here for 10 minutes and i've found two brands that i could start tomorrow and i guarantee in a year we could be doing fifty thousand dollars in sales i'm not saying that to be arrogant or cocky but i'm saying there's so much opportunity if you take the time to make the best product perfect your branding build a brand take the time to actually build a brand you are going to be successful I, I can almost guarantee that. I don't want to say guarantee it, but like 
I can almost 99% guarantee you that. If you make the best product, you build the best brand, you're going to make money. If I'm wrong, hit me up in the comments. If you don't believe me, hit me up in the comments. I'd love to debate you on that. All right, guys, next week, I got another product research video coming out for you guys. Same type of thing. I'm going to be showing you all sorts of different products you could sell. If you're struggling to find ideas, if you want to jump into this business, the best business opportunity there is right now, make sure you're listening to the podcast. I'll drop some links right below this video, a link to the podcast. I also got a special discount for my 67 lessons learned going from zero to $200,000 in sales in our first year. We're now doing, we've done four months in a row, $50,000. We're about to hit $70,000. We've only been doing this for 14 months. Like we just launched our brand. It's crazy guys. The opportunity is insane. So make sure you check out those resources below this video, but I'm going to be putting out some more resources for you guys to help you start your Amazon businesses. I'm Andy. You're watching Learn How. See you in the next video.